Using worksheets in CPRS can really make viewing labs a lot easier. So for example, if you click on the Worksheets button on the left, you'll notice that I've created a number of worksheets uh, that really help me with my workflow. I have one for CBCs. And let me show you how to view that. Click on C to see my CBC one and click OK. What it will give me is reverse chronological order for all my CBCs. Here I have it for uh, all, this, all this patient's results over time. Now you can also make your own worksheets. So for example, let's say you want to create a worksheet for hemolysis labs. So you can quickly and easily check someone's hemolysis labs without having to type each one in every time. Let me show you how to do that. So first, I'm going to click Remove All, so this right box is empty. And then I'm going to put all the hemolysis labs that I want included in my worksheet. So for example, I'm going to type LDH and click Add. Haptoglobin, click Add. And then maybe I want a uh, total bilirubin and the indirect bilirubin. Once I've added my four tests, and you'll notice you can group up to seven tests, I click New, I click Yes, and now my new worksheet is here at the bottom, and every time I want to view hemolysis labs for that patient, I click on that, and I'll be able to see them all lumped together. That's how you make and use worksheets in CPRS.